Hey, well done on achieving yet another module. You're doing really, really good. And I'm here cheering for you all the time. Even if, even though you can't see it, I'm actually here just cheering for you. Now, I want to talk about um, the idea of space repetition. Now, there's a lot of um, research that's gone into how humans learn. And one of the most well-tested techniques is space repetition. It's the idea that if you learn something just once, you're probably going to forget it. But if you learn something and then you come back to it in, say, a week to review it, and then a month to review it, and then a year to review it, then that knowledge is yours. You own it. So it's the same with programming. If you've learned a new concept, let's say um, if-else statements, and you never use it again, you've just heard how it works, you've seen what it does, and then you never actually use it, you're not going to remember it. You're not going to remember how to use it the next time you come across it. You're not going to remember to use it when you actually need to in a program of your own. So as a part of the course, I try really hard to add in more repetition. And I know sometimes it feels like it's repetitive, right? But, you know, if that is the case, you can always listen at 2x speed. You can change the toggle of the player so that I speak much faster. And you can get through more of the content if you're just reviewing it. But it's there for a reason, is to try and remind you of the concept, to try and enact this kind of space repetition. But you can also do it yourself. Like, if you keep a list of the things that you've learned, and at regular intervals, increasing intervals, say a day, a week, a month, you just come back to those concepts, just review it once more you will be able to keep that knowledge in your long-term memory and turn it into a skill rather than kind of like, you know, when you cram for exams and you just learn everything once and then, you know, like a week down the line, you've forgotten everything. Like, this is true for me. I cram, firstly, I've had so many exams where it feels like it's impossible to study everything um, in that amount of time. Um, I remember when I was doing my end of med school exams, I had four days um, of full-time exams. It was like nine to five with an hour lunch break of just exams on everything from like biochemistry to clinical medicine to like just everything under the sun. And I had to cram. I crammed so much knowledge and, you know, not like, you know, let alone now, like many years on, but even like a week down the line, it was all gone. It was like as if like there was no point doing it, doing that, like cramming. So review the, co the topics that you learn on a regular basis. Try to use it in some sort of format, like make a small um, program or make a small quiz for yourself or build something really, really simple that you've already built in the course, but just do it by yourself. Those are the moments when you're going to level up your skill. And those are way more important than listening to me. Like, I'm just going to say it. Like, if you do the work and you actually write the programs, that's really where it's most important. So have a go at doing that. And I'm going to be here continuing to cheer on for you in the background.